How's it going, folks? Uh, third video in a row. It's pre-rapture. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Hate to lose any of my audience. Uh, besides, I have a couple of beers left, and I got a ton of this left. Uh, <laughs> this is the last video of the night. We'll see if I even make it through this video. Uh, let's see. We are up to... I just had my spot mark. Yeah, 27. <laughs> it's pretty thirsty looking. I don't know if two beers is enough. Oh, have a little... Uh, old Forster. My new pal. After that, it's nighty night. And when I wake up, well, it's going to be a lot less crowded on this planet, I guess. I hope. <laughs> I'm not against the rapture. I'm all for it. Go. <laughs> Stop breathing my fucking air. You don't want to be here. I do. Let's see. Yep. Oh, let's start with the masthead. People of Anti Nephi Lehi seek safety in Zarahimla. <laughs> they are called the people of Ammon, which is nice. The other name's a little long. Uh, land of Jershon given to them. That's nice. Kind of like a little uh, mini Israel. One of 27. That is of chapter 27. A little chaser here. Mmm, well, that's a delightful combination. I'm going to be waking up late tomorrow, so the rapture is probably going to pass without my noticing. The earthquake and the trumpet sounding and all that shit. Now, it came to pass that when those Lamanites who had gone to war against the Nephites had found out, after their many struggles to destroy them, um, that it was in vain to seek uh, their destruction, they returned again to the land of Nephi. Two. And it came to pass... Uh, uh, I think my book needs a new paint job. I'm trying to light it from the floor now also. It's not as sparkly as it was. Time to pick up some more Rust-Oleum. It does get dull with handling. <laughs> I wonder if Joseph Smith had the same problem. <laughs> and it came to pass that the Amalekites, because of their loss, were exceedingly angry. And when they saw that they could not seek revenge from the Nephites, they began to stir up the people in anger against their brethren, the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi, who won't fight back, so that's a fight they can win. <laughs> Therefore, they began again to destroy them. Three. Now, this people again refused to take their arms, and they suffered themselves to be slain according to the desires of their enemies. Four. Now, when Ammon and his brethren saw that his this work of destruction among those whom they so dearly beloved, beloved, and among those who had so dearly beloved them, for they were treated as though they were angels sent from God to save them. Yeah, nice job. From everlasting destruction, just... They don't get much help with the temporary 
permanent kind, but not that everlasting destruction that happens in the second death. Yeah, no problem. They're covered. If it's real. And it ain't. Uh. Therefore, when Ammon and his brethren saw uh, this great work of destruction, they were moved with compassion. And they said unto their king, Let us gather together gather together this people of the Lord and let us go down to the land of Zarahemla to our brethren, brethren the Nephites and flee out of the hands of our enemies that we be not destroyed great miracle working there I'm sorry the book of Mormon is kind of miracle light compared to the Old Testament and the New Testament, in the New Testament, except this Testament. <laughs> uh, six. But the king said unto them, Behold, the Nephites will destroy us because of the many murders and sins we have committed against them. Now that we know to be guilty of them. And, but their guilt's been washed away as soon as they were aware it was something like a problem or something, you know, a moral uh, issue. Seven. And Ammon said, I will go and inquire of the Lord. And if he say unto us, go down unto our brethren, will ye go? Eight. And the king said unto him, Yea, if the Lord saith uh, Unto us go, we will go down to, unto our brethren, and we will be their slaves until we repair unto them the many murders and sins which we have committed against them. 9. But Ammon said unto him, It is against the law of our brethren, which was established by my father, that there should be any slaves among them. Therefore, let us go down and rely upon the mercies of our brethren. 10. But the king said unto him, Inquire the Lord, and if he saith unto us, Go, we will go. Likewise, we will perish in the land. 11. And it came to pass. Uh, that Ammon went and inquired of the Lord. And the Lord said unto him in private, Twelve, get this people out of the land of this land. That they perish not. You're on your own. <laughs> Run away. Save your ass. <sighs> that they perish not. For Satan has great hold on the hearts of the Amalekites who do stir up the Lamanites to anger against their brother to slay them. That's God talking, right? The Lord? And he trumps Satan. So fuck Satan. Kick his ass, God. Let's see it. Oh, that's right. We gotta wait till that crazy uh, Revelations book. Oh, wait. We gotta wait till uh, sometime tomorrow. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be so lame. I'm gonna be uploading these so after that date. But, yeah. <laughs> May 20th. Out. Almost ten o'clock. Yeah, it's gonna be quiet tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Satan has great hold on the hearts of the Amalekites, who do stir up the Lamanites to anger against their brother brethren, to slay them. Therefore, get thee out of the land, and blessed are these people in generation, for I will preserve them if they GTFO right now. <laughs> Otherwise, they're... 
Yeah, their ass is grass. <laughs> More magic. Run faster! <laughs> Run away! Thirteen. I'm so impressed with these Mormon miracles. Thirteen. And now it came to pass that Ammon went and told the king all the words which the Lord had said unto him. Third, uh, Fourteen. And they gathered together all their people. Yay! All the people of the Lord and did gather together all their flocks and herds and departed out of the land and came into the wilderness which divided the land of Nephi from the land of Zarahimla and came over near the borders of the land. Fifteen. I'm having trouble focusing here. And it came to pass that Ammon said unto them, Behold, I and my brethren will go forth into the land of Zarahemla, and ye shall remain here until we return, and we will try the hearts of our brethren and their patience. All right. Uh, wherefore, uh, wait. And we will try the hearts of our brethren, whether they will <coughs> that ye shall come into their land. Sixteen. And it came to pass. What was that, 16? 16. That as Ammon was going forth into the land, that he and his brethren met Alma over in the place of which has been spoken. And behold, this was a joyful meeting under the circumstances. 17. Yeah. Now, the joy of Ammon was so great that even he was full. Yay! He was swallowed up in the joy of his God. Even to the exhausting of his strength. That didn't make much sense. He still got to have energy to run with. You better hope God recharges your battery. I you know, like that energizer bunny. And he fell again to the earth. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Now, was not this exceeding joy? Yeah, it's excessive, all right. <laughs> Behold, this is Joy which none receiveth, save it be tr truly penitent and humble seeker of God. If I get that kind of joy, somebody throw a mattress under me first. For themselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, just so I don't hurt myself. Uh, <laughs> 19. Now, the joy of Alma in meeting his brethren was truly great. And also the joy of Aaron and Omner and Hemni. But behold, their joy was not that to exceed their strength. They're leaving a little in the tank for running. God told them to run. Get the fuck out. The options? 20. And now...
<sighs> Pure delight. And now it came to pass that Alma conducted his brethren back to the land of Zarahemla, even to his own house. And they went and told the chief judge all the things that had happened unto them in the land of Nephi among their brethren, the Lamanites. It's like, yeah, basically, thanks for letting us do this, uh, we accidentally kind of triggered a, a couple of invasions, but, you know, we got some people to believe this nonsense, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, thousands died. You know, over a thousand. A thousand and five, and then some more. <laughs> they didn't number those other ones. Oh, well. <clears throat> it's not like it's a historical document. But even Tolkien got had numbers ready. <sighs> 21. And it came to pass that the chief judge sent a proclamation throughout all the land desiring the voice of the people concerning uh, the admitting their brethren, who were the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi. So they're going to have a special election. Those are kind of expensive. I don't know. I'm from California. Thanks, Arnold. Used to like you, you dick. <laughs> I still like him. Fuck it. <laughs> but damn, dude, that was cold. <laughs> 22. And... It came to pass that the voice of the people came saying, <laughs> I hope they didn't have any Chad problem. <laughs> Surprised they didn't name somebody that. <laughs> Behold, we will give up the land of Jershom which is on the east by the sea, which joins the land Bountiful, which is on the south of the land of Bountiful, <coughs> which is... Uh, uh, and this land, Jershom, is the land which we will give unto our brethren for an inheritance. Thanks, guys. Mighty what of you. 23. And behold, we will set our armies between the land of Jerusalem and the land of Nephi. A little buffer zone there, because these guys are pacifists now. <laughs> what have you done? They used, they used to be kick-ass. <laughs> Like, yeah, you should have made a rule. Don't kill anybody except people we don't like. That works. Uh, <laughs> uh, 23. And behold, we will set our armies between the land of Jershom and the land of Nephi, that we may protect our brethren in the land Jershom. And this we do for our brethren on account of our fear to of their fear to take up arms against their brethren, lest they should commit sin. And this, their great fear, uh, came because of their sore repentance, which they had on account of their many murders and their awful wickedness. <laughs> and you're not going to let them forget that, are you? 24. And now behold, this will we do unto our brethren that they may inherit the land of Jershom. <sighs> and we will guard them from their enemies with our armies on condition that they will give us a portion of their substance 
to assist us that we might that we may maintain our armies. It's ten percent of everything you fucking own. Gross. I think it's gross. Twenty-five. Now, it came to pass. Let's see how much more do I have here? That when Ammon had heard this, he returned to the people of anti Nephi Lehi and also Alma with him into the wilderness where they had pitched their tents and made known unto them all these things. And Alma also related unto them. <coughs> Unto them his conversation with Ammon and Aaron and his brethren. And 26. It came to pass, I think for the last time in this chapter, unless I missed one. Oh, hang on a second. <sighs> Put this shit in the freezer between uh, vids. <laughs> and I've done what, three in a row now. <sighs> 26. And it came to pass uh, that it did cause great joy among them. And they went down into the land of Jershom and took possession of the land of Jershom. And they were called by the Nephites the people of Ammon. Yeah, they're his. Uh, therefore, they were distinguished by that name ever after. 27. And they were among the people of Nephi, and also numbered among the people who were of the church of God. And they were also distinguished for their zeal towards God, and also towards men. For they were perfectly honest and upright in all things. And they were firm in the faith of Christ. I'm sorry, but I guess I'm getting tired. <laughs> We're tipsy. Even unto the end of their fucking enviable life of groveling and getting smited on the cheek and shit like that. It's wonderful, I guess. If you're a masochist. <sighs> 28. And they did look upon shedding the blood of their brethren with the greatest abhorrence, and they never could be prevailed upon to take up arms against their brethren. <laughs> and they never did look upon death with any degree of terror for their hope and views of Christ, that's J.C. and B.C., <laughs> and the resurrection. Therefore, death was swallowed up to them by the victory of Christ over it in, according to the footnote, about 77 B.C. E. <laughs> Before the common era. Oh. Man, I got a belt working up. Uh, that's a good one. I can tell. It's, it's like Doomsday Belch, I think. <coughs> oh, there it is. Good. I don't think I got to hold that in a second. Oh, I'm out of beer. Uh, 29. Yeah. Therefore, they would suffer death in the most 
aggravating and distressing manner which could be inflicted by their brethren before they would take the sword or scimitar to smite them. Better get a shovel first, dickhead. You buried your sword and scimitar and all those other items. 30. And thus, they were a zealous and beloved people, a highly favored people of the Lord. And that's it for 27. And that's it for me. That's it. <laughs> Rapture, take me away! <laughs> Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful... Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Honestly. Really. Have a wonderful Rapture, people. Bye. <laughs>